Good morning guys. Today we are going to Job Shadow Sam. I just jumped in the truck. I'm headed to meet Sam, pick him up. We're going to head to the yard and uh, usually get there about 15-20 minutes early. We'll get some supplies, ice and water and then uh, we'll head out to the right of way. It means I have big news to share. The CEO of the country's fourth largest carrier jumps in. Actually, Day, Sam. We need uh, nine inch grinding discs, clear lenses, earplugs, trash bags, and uh, face shields. I think that's it. We probably ought to get some ice too, huh? Yeah, we gotta get ice. Maybe a little bit. Keep that cooler cold. Stop the visit. That means conversations. That means it's over with. I'm yeah. not very good at reading people. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's why good. I got you, Sam. Good, good help. Even at reading people, I'm kind of the awkward guy, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm here for, bud. That's what I'm here for. That's right. I don't know if we're gonna make a hard tie-in today or not, but uh, nope. we got some weld-out welders. Welders, we will make uh, some welds on on the bank. Yep. But you guys still get an idea of. Uh, I mean, that's it's, it's some of what we do back here on tie-ins. You know, a lot of loose ends to weld up, and that's what we're here for. So, um, we're fixing to go get started here. I was gonna ask Sam what. Uh, see, Sam's fixing to. He's fixing breakout. He's uh, fixing to drag up my line. No, he's fixing breakout. He got <laughs> got a lot of welding experience, a lot of drive. He's uh, practicing every chance he gets, all the time, and that's what it takes. And uh, he wants it bad enough. He's fixing breakout. So what I was going to ask you was, what are you going to miss most about helping? You going to miss anything about it? Not at all, Rock, really. No. Uh, no. Uh, stress free, completely. Whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't gotta worry about my job as long as I show up every day, you know. Right. But that and how easy it is to get hired out. Yeah, yeah. Out of every position or situation you've helped in, fabrication, uh, front end, tie ins, I mean, you, you, you 
you've done mostly, if you've done a little bit, fa a little bit of fabrication, everything. I've done all of it. Where would you say you is a good place to learn at as a helper because of the pace? Are you Front end is going to be more speed focused, so you're not going to learn detail. Tie ins is going to be more detail, less speed focused, so you're not going to learn how to be fast. All right. You get put on road bores and you'll get neither. <laughs> uh, yeah. So not road bores is probably the best spot for you. Yeah. Yeah, tie ins, tie -ins or fabrication is uh, slower pace and you do everything, you know, you don't just run a buffer, you know, as to where like on the firing line or something. I mean, you still run a grinder, but not as often, you know. Yeah. But yeah, if you, I just, can, if I you just, can get a spot grinding beads on the front end, definitely suggest it. Um, there's no better way to learn how to grind beads. Not that it's really hard, but you know there are finer points, um, and you get more money, so that's always good. Repetitive, repetitiveness is good yeah. in any situation. So.
sand's been dragging me all day. That's right. It's been dragging me. Hard to keep up. Got her in them hours with me, Ham. Such good help. God dang it. Made two 42 inch. 740 wall today. Heck of a day. One heck of a day there, Austin. Heck of a 42 day. 42 inch welds. Two 42 inch. 740 wall. The workhouse. The old goat's mad about it. Yeah, bucking and a roaring, ain't she? You know how to get out of here? Nope. Let's see. Kind of got a little brain for it. <laughs> See, the help just don't stop flowing from Sam. He's like my Garmin too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can ask Kayla. My sense of direction ain't very, ain't very sensible. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh uh. uh -huh. I'm gonna try to think of as many corny one-liners to be using. That's what Sam do does all day: grinds and buffs. It's so exciting! So exciting! <laughs> Got a question? Shoot for you, Sam. What is the worst part about helping? Dickhead welders. I don't mean all welders are dickheads. I mean welders that are also dickheads. I've been pretty lucky for the most part. I have had a couple that aren't yeah. worth their salt. You know, I'm the kind of guy I can get along with anybody, just about. I've had a couple of helpers that almost... Uh, like they only helped one welder and that one welder was a butthole and uh, just old grumpy or whatever whatever the case or just not even old but just grumpy yeah just a grumpy grumpy welder and it, it about ruined them they didn't want to do it no more mm -hmm. and uh, so that's unfortunate if that ever happens to any of you guys if you guys ever get the opportunity to get out and help a welder hang in there I've been lucky where I've only had two that were that I didn't get along with really well. Yep. You know, yep. like you and me, we get along pretty well. Yep. I like to think that we have fun. Agreed. Now y'all know what a helper does, and uh, a good one at that. Being ready, being prepared. My back hurts from carrying you all day. Yeah. He's got to wear a back brace. <laughs> carrying me all day I know it's rough I'm pretty needy <laughs> <laughs> buff this turn me down <laughs> damn near <a> ride <laughs> alright well that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, you guys can look up Sam Lark if you want on a couple of his social medias we'll link them in the description below yeah Faticus 9 Faticus 9. Like I said, we'll link it in the description below. But uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good weekend. See y'all next week. Later, dude. Later, Gator. See you in the morning. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning, bud. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm about to make my eyes really big for the video just so everyone can see my eyes. <clears throat> You have to let me know when you're editing this if this is good. My face looks really big. Just a
people say that all the time. That's not true, man. I don't mean big fat. I just mean like large. Well, how do you think I feel over here? Well, it's because you're fat. So exciting. 